Hi everybody. Oh my god, please don't fall. My morning has been so shitty. Okay. I've had a shitty morning, as you can tell. I just said. Um, this is a very much improvised video, and I am wearing the same shirt. But to be fair with you, all those videos you just saw were filmed on the same day. So no, I have not been wearing that shirt this long. But this is an improvised video because the original video that I had planned got completely ruined. Um, I had an unboxing video that I was going to do of a tablet that I got off of eBay and it was marked delivered and it is nowhere to be found. So that video cannot happen and instead we're going to be making a sensory bottle instead. And I think I might have even messed that up which honestly I am so fed up with today that I don't care anymore and I know that sounds so bad but I really don't care. I will have to say though I do have other packages coming. Um, One of them is a case for now a tablet that I don't have so I don't even know what I'll do with that. But I did order a new phone and so I will do an unboxing of that. I don't know when it's going to come. It says one to three days and I ordered it on Friday so I'm assuming probably Monday. Um, or sometime during the week. I don't know. Something like that. At this point, I don't know when anything's coming. It might just magically decide to disappear like the tablet. I'm still holding out hope that the tablet might have appeared somewhere. Maybe it was marked prematurely. I've read that that can happen and it has happened to me before. So my hope is that it was marked prematurely and that it will just pop up in my mailbox. But... I don't know. I was literally awake and ran out the door as soon as I heard, saw the notification. So, I don't know. But like I said, we're going to make a sensory bottle. I did not do anything to this bottle. I just um, took the label off. This is a core water bottle that I just had uh, delivered to me. I also delivered groceries, so this is how I came up with the idea. This bottle is a lot bigger than I was expecting. So this is the reasoning I said that I might have messed up the, the sensory bottle is because I did not, I don't think I got enough glitter glue. I got this little bottle of glitter glue and this big bottle. I thought they were not that big. You're supposed to fill it three fourths of the way. This is not going to fill this three fourths of the way. So we're just going to work with what we have and hope that it's okay. If it's not, obviously you can improvise and not be a dumbass like me, but I'm sure it will still turn out okay. This one is a very simplified version because I didn't really have a lot of money to be buying uh, a lot of supplies. Like I said, that's why I'll do a better one, you know, towards the end of the month or something like that. But let's just get into it because I've been talking for three minutes. I'm sorry if you can see my dishes in my sink, there's not very many, but I'm basically just going to take this bottle and dump this whole thing in there, and I don't, I, I literally bought this glitter glue for this bottle, so I'm not bothered about using the whole thing in here. I really hope it all comes out very easily, if not, I'm just going to cut the glitter glue bottle and then scoop it out with like a spoon or something, I don't know. But I'm not going to make you guys watch me do this because this is a struggle. Okay, I'm not going to lie. We had a brief intermission. I had to cut that bottle open. Um, That was scary. I literally, and it would not work with scissors. So I had to cut it with a knife. And it's not even 12 p.m. And I'm over here cutting shit with knives. Anyways, this is all I could get out for it. Most of it's on the side and everything like that. So basically it wanted you to fill it uh one third of the way or one fourth of the way of or something like that uh the fucking bottle but i did not get enough glitter glue for that so we're just gonna have to work with what we got and the next step is basically just hot water and it said to fill it with your desired amount so i'm just gonna fill it to the top of the hot water and um I didn't know if I was going to have to show you the inside of my sink, so I actually washed all my dishes before turning the camera back on, just in case I had to show y'all my sink. Why is there bubbles? Am I missing something? There's bubbles. Hello? Why is there bubbles? <laughs> this is what it looks like so far. It's kind of pretty, not going to lie. But, I don't know. I know it's hot. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I'll be back when there's not any popping bubbles. So, the end result is actually kind of pretty. Um, I messed up on a little bit. So, I think I talked too long and let some of the glue dry on the bottle because some of the sides like are stuck with glue. And when it's when you're not using it, it looks kind of ugly. But when you're using it, it's actually really cute. So, this is what it looks like when you're not using it. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of ugly when you're not using it. But when you shake it, I'm trying not to hit the table because then the foam will fall. And you can glue this lid down if you were giving this to a small child. But this is mine. And I'm 21 and I know not to open it. Right now, the bottle is really fucking hot because it tells you to pop, pop water in it. But obviously, the water will not always stay hot. And you'll have a safer toy. I would kind of just wait for it to cool off before you give it to a kid. But... This is what it looks like when it's all shook up, and it is the prettiest thing ever, and this literally, like, costed me maybe $2, maybe a little less. This bottle was probably more expensive than the freaking glitter glue. Um, That glitter glue was $1.52, and the water was a dollar something, and so I think the whole thing maybe costed me $3. And there's a bunch of different ways to make these. You can look them up and they're really easy to find. But this was just the one that I decided to settle on because... And this was before I found out the tablet stuff happened. So I think it's kind of a coincidence that I decided to make one of these sensory calm down bottles the same day that my tablet gets mysteriously take Like, mysteriously. Mysteriously. I don't know. But anyways... That is the end of this video, and I know it's kind of long for something that shouldn't have been that long, but I just kind of did a lot of talking because I'm really annoyed. But I hope you do enjoy it, and you should definitely try it. I, I have other ones that I didn't make on camera, but here you go. You should definitely try it. Bye, everybody.